Hello friends, how are you all doing? I'm doing great. Today I will be discussing three fragrances from my collection, three classy fragrances from my collection. Hold on, you can hear the birds singing the songs, quite lovely, isn't it? I hope this microphone is catching their voices, so beautiful. But anyways, let me dig into the review. So today I will be discussing three fragrances like I told you. These are classy fragrances, these are elegant fragrances, these are fresh clean type of fragrances with many different traits, okay. So this is my personal pick, so my personal ranking. You don't have to agree with me, these fragrances are from my collection and I use them regularly. So let me rank these fragrances in terms of my preference, okay. So let's dive in right away, okay. So, I'm gonna start with my number three pick, and this is going to be Bulgari Aqua Amara. You can check out my review, I will be giving the individual reviews, the links in the description section as well. Also, you can visit the video section in my channel. But, anyways, this is Bulgari Aqua Amara. So, I really like this fragrance initially when I got it, I was not extremely fond of this fragrance but slowly i got used to this one so this fragrance let me spray this on a tester strip not on my hand because i'm trying out different a uh, different fragrance today so so this fragrance when i spray this fragrance i can easily get this beautiful bit of citrusy note Yep, the citrusy note is is kind of orangish type of note is there. So I'm getting getting this orangey feel. Yeah, surely orangey feel. With the oranginess, there is this beautiful bit of white floral note that is popping up. So the white floral is neroli. So in this video, you'll actually see neroli based fragrances. This one white floral is very common in the three fragrances that I'm gonna review. So this one, orangey start and then introduces the Neroli, beautiful elegant smell, very classy and then this one starts to become a little bit woody in the dry down and I can smell this aromatic vibe as well. There is this earthiness coming in, in the dry down, in the fur dry down there is earthiness. So really lovely. You'll also get this slight bit of aquatic type of feel in this fragrance. So really lovely fragrance. Now performance wise this is a good fragrance. You can check out my full review. So the pricing is going to vary because this is not a, this is a discontinued fragrance so you might not find this. I'm not actually 100% sure about the pricing but you'll get this fragrance within a range of 6000 taka to 10000 taka. That will be $55 to $90 more or less. This is discontinued and very hard to find. So the pricing will vary. So this is my number three pick. My number two. This is my number two. Dunhill Icon. This is one up class type of fragrance. No doubt when you sm even when you smell the atomizer, this is just up class. This is really nice. This is aromatic. This is green. This has this excellent floral tone in this one, the woodiness in the dry down. So overall, let me spray this again and give you a summary of it, okay. So this is my number three, number two fragrance in this list. So this is a very classy fragrance. I have to tell you this is a classy fragrance, elegant fragrance, inoffensive one, lovely. I love this fragrance. This is one of my favorites, Dunhill Icon. So when I spray this fragrance, I get this beautiful green tone mixed with citruses. Yep, I'm getting this slight bit of citrusy vibe, that excellent green tone coming from the perigrain. There is perigrain, I think, yes. So there is this black pepper type smell as well. So you're gonna get this aromatic, citrusy and peppery vibe in the opening. And when this fragrance starts to dry down, the beautiful floral note, the neroli starts to pop in. 
I did, I really love the Neroli in this one. Initially, when I actually started the fragrance game, I was not fond of Neroli. So even the Tom Ford one, Porto, uh, Neroli Portofino, yeah, and even the clone Maison Alhambra Porto Neroli. Those Neroli fragrances, I actually hate those fragrances. Sad but true. <laughs> but this one, Neroli, can be beautiful. So in Dante Icon, the Neroli is nice. I like it. I like it. So the dry down, there, there is Neroli. There is this beautiful floral, warm spiciness coming through as well. So lovely bit of smell. In the base, you can smell differences. You can smell this beautiful iris-like smell, not powdery, not powdery like Dior Rome Intense. There is this soft iris in this fragrance. I'm getting slight bit of suede-like thing, suede leather type of thing in this fragrance, and a lot of woodiness in the dry down. Really lovely fragrance. Very good performer. Pricing wise, you'll get this fragrance within 4,500 taka in Bangladesh. So. In US dollar, that will be $42 or so. Dunhill Icon, really nice, elegant type of fragrance. Let me move on to my number one pick today in this three classy fragrances list. So, this is my number one Prada Loam. Beautiful fragrance, really gorgeous fragrance, gorgeous smell, absolutely stunning. Man, this is nice. This is super good, super high quality fragrance from Prada. Prada Loam is well known in the fragrance community. Now, Prada Loam, from the get go, I'm getting this iris. The iris in this one is not like Dior Homme Intense or Valentino Homme Intense. This one is more soft, very airy. Excellent iris note in this one. I'm also getting this soft floral that is kind of geranium like sweet spicy kind of touch Not to mention the neroli The white floral here is quite dominant Neroli, but not dominant in a way that it is going to be offensive. No, this is not an offensive fragrance really up class type of fragrance inoffensive fragrance beautiful neroli note I'm getting this slight bit of Citrusy opening with hints of pepper. There is this peppery citrusy cake in this one, and then the floral notes, the geranium like feel, and the white floral neroli. Beautiful neroli note is in this fragrance. Easily detectable. Now, when this fragrance starts to dry down, this one, the iris, there's this slight violet type of smell. Beautiful smell. So I'm, I really like this fragrance. The far dry down to me feels like a little resinous, musky and woody. So overall this is a beautiful high class fragrance from Prada, Prada Loam. So this is my number one pick in today's list. Lovely fragrance. Now that I have showed you the three fragrances, let me highlight these three fragrances together. So these are the three fragrances on my list of three classy fragrances from my collection. So really nice fragrance. I have other fragrances as well, but so I decided today to actually show you three classy fragrances that are really close to me. So beautiful, fresh, clean type of fragrances, floral fragrances that, uh, that are actually inoffensive. So lovely suitable for I think all year round and you can carry these fragrances whenever you want in your formal outings in your casual outings these are actually elegant fragrances so very inoffensive works really well in summer days in fall in spring you can also carry these in winter because all these fragrances contains this warm spiciness there's this beautiful spicy kick in this fragrance the floral tone so I think these are actually suitable for all year round. So you have seen the fragrances. These are actually my personal picks, three classy fragrances from my collection that I use very often. So 
Now I think I've done. I have. I've covered everything in this video. I will see you guys next time with another fragrance review. If you guys like my work, do subscribe to my channel and support me. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone. Peace.